Welcome to bump date number one for baby number two. bump date videos when I was pregnant with Letty and they're so fun to look back on and I have heard that they're helpful for people that kind of want to follow along or like let's say you get pregnant in the future you want to follow along um, with someone else and just kind of watch a video every single week going over symptoms and cravings and anything to expect and hearing about what's normal or not normal I everything's like normal for pregnancy this video is going to be going over like 12 to 14 weeks so right now I'm actually 14 weeks Last time with Letty, I started these videos at 12 weeks, so I was just gonna cover the last two weeks because they've been about the same. First thing is symptoms. So really over the first trimester, I started feeling sick, um, just nauseated all day long at about six or seven weeks. I didn't feel really low energy. Um, I have felt more energetic in the last four weeks, but I would say that first four weeks, like from six weeks to 10 weeks, it was, um, I just wanted to lay on the couch. After talking to my doctor, I uh, felt more comfortable taking the combo of Unisom and B6, vitamin B6. I started by just incorporating vitamin B6, which did help take the edge off the nausea, but not all the way. So then I started adding a half a pill of Unisom at night which if you're familiar with the prescription diclegis, which is usually what they'll prescribe you if you do have pretty bad morning sickness, it is basically the same thing. That has helped me so much. I couldn't live without my Unisom and B6. However, I'm hoping that in the next couple of weeks, my sickness starts to like taper. Last time with Letty, my sickness was pretty much gone by 15 weeks. So since I'm 14 weeks now, I do feel like it's getting a little bit better but I'm still afraid to stop the medicine just quite yet because I, I still feel pretty nauseous, especially at night. Otherwise, I'm sleeping well. I do have some round ligament pain, um, which is pretty normal. I am like growing faster than I did with Letty just because, you know, second round, that's usually what happens. I would say with this baby, I've had more like indigestion symptoms. Um, so like, I know I said this on Instagram, but especially at night and depending on what I eat, I have just this like upper digestion burping thing going on. So don't feel bad if that's also you. Um, I After reading all of my DMs, I feel like it's so common for so many people. I've tried a lot of different like remedies, but not even like, I feel like taking gas X after I start feeling especially uncomfortable at night, that doesn't really help me. So it just leads to other digestive digestion issues. So I'm not really taking anything to help the burping. I just avoid raw veggies. I avoid eggs, obviously, because I have a small allergy to them. And it's just hit or miss whether it happens every day. As of right now, those are my biggest symptoms. As far as any food cravings, everything has changed and it changes like day to day. But I do feel like I have been more, I guess, wanting to eat like chocolate, which I'm not a chocolate person, but that always seems like it hits the spot. Definitely like salty foods. I'm in love with the dill pickle Doritos. Sometimes I avoid them because I feel like it does kind of give me acid reflux. The Smuckers peanut butter that's literally just like peanuts and salt. That is like a big food group for me right now. I just love it. Every morning I have peanut butter toast and that is just like my favorite peanut butter ever. Ice cream also. So yeah, I feel like I do, I, not necessarily like cravings, but things that normally didn't like sit well with me or things that I didn't really want before, um, they're really appealing to me now. Oh, and fruit for sure. I eat a lot more fruit. As far as aversions go, last time I could not touch meat, like ground beef, chicken, but this time it doesn't really bother me. I'm not averse to it at all. I'm not averse to fish. Um, so that's been really helpful um, getting you know more protein in because last time with Letty, it was really, really hard to get in any protein. I would say it just changes 
every day. Sometimes Brad will mention eating something and I'm like, yeah, no, I don't want that, you know? <laughs> I don't want that at all. Oh, I am pretty averse to like plain water. It's gotten better, but the Hint waters have been a big thing for me because it's just got a little bit of flavor and for some reason I can drink it a lot easier than just like plain water. So if you're experiencing that, again, I'm with you. Emotions, lately I haven't had any like big emotions. I just, you know, occasionally feel like nervous about having a second baby, a little bit scared, not about like labor and delivery. I am excited to have a good experience with that, but just, you know, like bringing a second child into the family. How's Letty gonna be? How is it gonna be for our family? Those are some of the, you know, like worries that I have. Occasionally I've like cried for no reason, <laughs> which again is like pretty normal. Thankfully, Brad is great about that. Um, and overall, I am pretty excited because I should be finding out the gender of the baby any minute now with an email. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm excited for that. My workouts have actually been really great. I didn't do CrossFit with Letty and you know, looking back, it, it probably would have been a similar workout experience with both pregnancies. My level of fatigue is about the same for both pregnancies. Last time I did a lot of bodybuilding and didn't really work out that hard. But this time, because I'm doing a combo of CrossFit and bodybuilding, when I show up to CrossFit, I work my butt off, even though it's like so hot. So I do try to keep my heart rate down and um, I try to keep my body temperature down, but I wasn't working this hard with the last pregnancy. So I do about three or four days of CrossFit every week and then the other workouts, bodybuilding, and I'm going to try and get more steps in in the future because I actually like feel like I'm getting a little bit more energy back. Otherwise, strength-wise, I do feel like nothing's off balance yet. Um, I'm not, you know, like grown so big that things are difficult or my core strength is different. Like I actually feel like pretty normal still. So with Letty, I use the app Baby Center and this time I'm just using it again. I don't know if there's a better one out there, but definitely follow along on an app if you, you know, want to know things about what's going on so inside your body. It says that this week the baby's size is a lemon. So it is five, almost six inches um, from head to toe and then it weighs three ounces. That's crazy, wild. I feel like like two weeks ago it was like this big and now it's, you know, triple that. Apparently the baby is making faces, growing hair. They're active. I haven't felt anything yet. I was reading online that like people have felt their babies move as early as 13 weeks. I haven't felt any. Uh, last time I kind of equated it to like bubbles, I guess, inside that you would feel. Um, haven't felt that yet. So I think last time it was about 16 or 17 weeks, maybe even 18 weeks. I'm not really sure, I don't remember. As far as anything for myself or the baby that I've purchased, I haven't really um, yet. Next week I should have I guess some like clothing to show you because I did take advantage of some of the sales for 4th of July there. I, well, I won sale. I don't even remember what it, oh, magnetic me, which are like onesies that have magnetic buttons. Um, so I loved those for Letty. So I bought some for the baby that are more just like neutral colors. Cause obviously we don't know the gender quite yet, but I thought that that was just a fun purchase. That's kind of like my first purchase. So I'll show those in the next video. I have some of the same sports bras that I wore, um, you know, when I was pregnant with Letty because I do grow in that area. Some people don't grow in that area until they've had the baby. For me, like I grow right away. Um, I go from like nothing to having, uh, you know, something. <laughs> so I have like totally different bra sizes. So I have them from previous, but I did buy more just like soft everyday bras that are pretty loose fitting. I can't wear anything tight. I don't want to wear anything tight um, and it's just uncomfortable. So again, if you're going through that, like I feel that, <laughs> I feel yeah. I think Brad is feeling like pretty excited. I feel like as I grow and even like being able to feel the baby on the outside, um, he'll maybe like be more in touch with that this time. I think last time he was just like a little bit afraid. It's a new experience. Like 
you know, you're not really sure what to do about it. Um, he's not the type that's just like in love with the pregnant body as far as like touching my belly all the time. Um, I don't know if he'll be different this time. That's not how he was last time. Not that he doesn't like it. It's just like not him. Some guys are just not into okay. it. And maybe it's like just weird for them. Um, but he's not, it's not like a turn off. It's just not something that he's like, he's got to fill my belly all the time, you know? Um, so if you're expecting your husband to be that way, it's totally okay that they just kind of, you know, take this journey as they want to, right? No pressure. Letty is obviously really excited too. She always like lifts up my shirt and wants to see how tall the baby is. And then she'll go, oh, your baby's like a hundred pounds. That, wow, your baby's a hundred pounds more. So I just laugh at that every time. Um, she's so sweet about it. Um, she, if I'm not feeling well, she'll be, a, you know, like I'll take care of you. And she'll say, you gotta drink lots of water, mommy. It's just like the cutest thing. She's gonna be the best big sister, um, but yeah, she's, excited i think i'll probably say that every week that she's just excited about it but that is it make sure you subscribe if you want to follow along every week i will end this video showing my bump maybe we'll compare it to what i looked like at 14 weeks with letty i guess that would be kind of fun although i'm i know i look different now um that's okay a different season of life right comment below anything you'd love to hear about for next week's video and that is it you're worth it i guess i can go like this too on this side <laughs>